Uh, Jonathan Gullis. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. As someone who spent their entire professional career working in state secondary schools as a teacher, the one place where debates around gender self-identification should never apply is with children. And just like the divisive critical race theory that we've seen enter our school, we're now seeing the equally divisive gender ideology too. So can the Secretary of State ally for my residence in Stoke-on-Trent, North Kids Grevin talk that her announcement today will help to seek to clarify and make sure the classroom is a safe space for vulnerable young people? Um, uh, I, I really welcome the intervention by my honourable friend. As a teacher, he knows how carefully we need to look after children and make sure that we are safeguarding across, uh, across the board. That is quite right. This legislation, uh, this SI, is just one step that we are taking in order to provide clarity. There will be more, there will be more coming. Not all of it will be legislative, but there will be measures brought to the uh, 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 there will be measures which we will be bringing into place that will help uh, people understand exactly what is going on. We should not assume that the knowledge that we have in this House is present in the, in the population. I have met people who do not understand the difference between being gay or being trans. The Honourable Lady uh, is complaining that my answers are long. It is because I want people to hear the truth and to understand what it is that we as a government are doing.